How common are blood clots and what do you need to know to spot the potentially life-threatening danger? All new at 6, WBZ's Mike Sullivan went to the experts for some answers. Football is just a game. Somehow player health constantly puts that into perspective. The news of Patriots offensive star Christian Barmore is no different. The tackle out indefinitely with blood clots. Obviously a big loss for the Patriots, but, you know, scary for him. His health's more important. It's going to be a big loss to the defensive line this year. Just signed a big contract. And I think he's going to, it's going to be a big void to fill. His diagnosis comes five years after his teammate, David Andrews, was sidelined for a year with blood clots. Fans felt the same way then as they do now. We lose sight of the fact that these guys are human beings and not just football players. So why athletes, why blood clots, is there any correlation? Compared to the general population, I don't think they are at higher risk. Payam Salahi is the chief vascular surgeon at Tufts Medical Center. He says blood clots are extremely common, impacting about 80 and 100,000 people. The majority tend to be older patients. In younger patients, it may happen because of uh, some inherited clotting disorder. They can also happen from abnormal anatomy. Salehi saying some athletes can get blood clots in the shoulder. They use it repeatedly and naturally have very tight spacing in their neck. So that could be a tennis player, a baseball player, a quarterback, someone who's using that shoulder a lot. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Those swimmers. He says symptoms typically show as swelling or pain when people are on their feet for long periods of time. These risks get worse with dehydration or long plane flights, both commonplace in professional sports. We usually recommend uh, uh, someone with DVT, they don't fly for about three to four weeks. Those people with inherited blood clots may need to be on blood thinners for life. You cannot be a football player on blood thinner. Leaving fans hoping the best for Barmore. In Boston, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.